Hey now, and welcome to Stern Talk, everybody. I'm your host, BOS, bringing you another classic video. Tonight's episode is Staff Impersonation Contest. This is a great video. This is the one where five listeners come down to the studio to do their best whack pack impersonation. This contest is a little bit different than other contests because Howard allows listeners to call in and, and vote for the best impressionist. They call this video Staff Impersonation Contest, but it really should be called Whack Pack Impersonation Contest. This is an awesome video, so let's check it out together. Hi guys, I'm Anil Hernandez. I'm here to do to Retort. Hello. Uh, 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 hi. Uh, uh, I'm mm, Chad Diller, <laughs> and I'm here as John the Stutterer. Uh, um, my name is Jason. I'm doing a president of me. Well, North Vermont. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dude? It's Mark the Bagger. Kevin Ottinger here. Uh, Rachel Butera here as underdog lady under protest. Under protest. Guys, so I guess you're here for the staff impression contest, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Under right. protest. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. That's they right. told me to come down I, I'm and not happy it. about being here. Howard is Furman. He's an airwave polluter. He's a beetle. A, be a bagels. But I need the money for my surgery bills. I don't want to say anymore. I got yeah. I shouldn't be surrounded by people like this. Guys, so you all see your competition. How do you feel about the contest today? Why? Oh, I feel great. This is a great opportunity. Once again, we again. I hope. I hope. Mm, they drop mm, the X. Oh, shut up. This is the very reason why oh, Howard Stern retired. shouldn't be on the air in the first place. Um, oh, you come got on. The real thing. Why should he corrupt people yeah. such? Are, are you guys are you guys nervous at all going in there? Uh, no. Uh, I got rock star hair, uh, so. I'm nervous a little bit. Uh, it's okay. I didn't want to be here again, so I'm very, very Can I nervous. smoke you? <laughs> What's your so name again? Oh. All right, guys. Good luck to everyone and I'm not have fun today. Don't Thank you. you. Thanks, you guys. Shush, 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 Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yo, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yo. Bye. All right, I'm really excited. It's time for America to vote and to learn about their candidates. We have the staff impression contest. This is where we asked you we to... We did exhaustive auditions. Yes. All across the country. And our five finalists are here, as picked by the judges. Rachel Butera, Chad Diller, Kevin Ottinger, Annie L. Hernandez, and Jason Tassau. I probably said that wrong, but look at these guys. This looks like a police lineup. Looks like, I was just going to say, it looks like a liner. I don't know who Jason is, but I think he's in character. <laughs> I don't want to mess with his head. Oh, wow. Well, there you all are. Oh, there's Rachel. I've spoken to her on the phone. Chad, I think I've already spoken to you on the phone. And Kevin, hi. Do you say your name is Annie L? Annie L. Howard, Annie yes. Annie L. All right. Annie L. Hernandez. And, uh, of course, Jason. Hey, Jason. Yep, how's it going, Mallory? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he's doing he's his big foot already. He's, he's never going to be Jason. Hey, 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 how, oh, hi, Howard. Hey, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> you like my mm, 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 rock star hair? You have rock star <laughs> hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Wow. Well, um, all of you are here. Let me first say hello to uh, Rachel Underdog Lady. Hello, airwave polluter. <laughs> we meet again, it seems. Let me tell you something. I've been nothing but a fan of yours, and you say I'm an air, a airwave... A fan? I have been banned, chided by parade. People who run the parade, I've been banned from parades. People run in fear because of you and your smear campaigns. Now, wait a second. Wait a second, underdog woman. All I've done is brought you on TV. You were free to leave anytime you want. I don't understand. Mr. Stern, I am here under protest. I would never be here other than I have medical bills to take care of and I need the money. 
Well, listen, I welcome you here. By the way, this is Rachel Butera. Yes. Rachel, it is so good to speak to you. Uh, boy, oh boy, do you sound like her. Thank you. Rachel, Seems to have captured the essence of underdog woman. <laughs> Rachel, you did so many voices. We, I, I thought your uh, impression of Little, Little Lupe. Lupe was so strong. Oh, God, thank you. <laughs> Little Lupe, you're so gorgeous. You thank know? you. I know. It's so hard to be so hot. <laughs> yeah, I, you're so hot. And uh, you love, I know you love your husband, Evan, but I get worked up over you. How is your website doing, by the way? My, oh, my website is so good. Everybody loves me because I'm so little. Yeah, you're, yes. so, yeah, you're very little. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, this girl, Rachel, uh, is awesome. Her impersonation of Underdog Lady is spot on, but her little Lupe is incredible. I think she should have done little Lupe in this contest, but uh, you know how crazy little Lupe gets and uh, wouldn't be able to put it on YouTube. Well, anyway, Rachel, you are so good. Let me tell you a little about Rachel. She's been a fan of... How many years have you been a fan of this? About 16 years. 16 wow. years. Wow. I haven't listened in a long time. Are you, you no, are you, and you're not known as an impressionist, right? I um, mean, not known. I, I read audiobooks for a living, and I do some voiceovers. I've done some low-budget cartoons and things like that, but I've been... Oh, you wow. should be doing a lot more. Thank you. At least with us, you should be. Anyway, so you do all these voices. Also, for a living, you've done uh, audiobooks, audiobooks, you say, and you've done all these different things. Yep. And, uh, and Would we know anything she's read? Um, it's a lot of erotica. Some oh, really? <laughs> It's like Harlequin romance novels, uh -huh. so they can get kind of dirty. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, you. it also says you, you've actually worked for a phone sex line. I did phone sex for wow. a little while. Yeah, that how was many, interesting. <laughs> how many guys would you service a day when you were a phone sex Um, line? Maybe like three or four. I did it part-time to supplement my income, so it wasn't like a real, real And were thing. you doing that out of your home? Yeah, I was doing it. I lived in the city at the time, Washington Heights, and I was doing it out of my apartment. I assume you have to live alone when you do that. No, I had a roommate. I would love <laughs> She was totally cool, though. Christine, woohoo! Was was... That was good. Look at it. John the Stutter is about to come. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bigfoot, you like that, huh? I got gum all in my head. <laughs> yeah, my job jacking all the way. Uh, yeah, I'm going uh, to uh, talk uh, dirty to me the more like, it is. I think uh, I got another bat to do it. Uh, yeah. uh, I would have put my F fingers in her asshole. And what would you lick? Uh, I would... Howard, I, I would lick the, <laughs> the juices because I love the taste of women's vaginas. I don't know how it. I would let her lick my toilet ass juice. <laughs> it's Gary, so good. Gary, I don't know how Hi, Fred. How you doing, Fred? <laughs> say hi to Fred. I can't see him over there. Fred, say hi to Gary the Retard. Hi, Gary. How you hi, doing? Fred. Yeah. How are you, Fred? Good hi, Rob. Oh, she's so beautiful, Howard. And, and by the way, Mark the Bagger, did you? You like the phone sex segment over there? Yeah, I did, dude. Uh, I uh, I need to come on my chair. <laughs> well, you guys are all so talented. Wow. I, I can do a show with all this of you. Is yeah, you got to remember that these are just listeners. These aren't professional uh, comedians or uh, or professional impressionists. These are just uh, listeners. But I love how they uh, immediately started interacting with each other and uh, improvising all that together. I'm sure that they've never worked together before. I'm assuming that this is the first time they've ever been together. Uh, so it wasn't like a planned out skit that they uh, put together. And I, I thought they did a real good job improvising. Crazy. How do you judge this? So, Rachel, you make a good living as a voiceover, book person, um, phone sex lady? I mean, I do you... it part time. I, I have a regular job. So, no. did you ever do impressions of other famous people or just people from our show? Yeah, I've, done, I've been doing it since I was a little kid. I used to sit and watch every movie and just imitate people and drive my parents crazy. Who's your best non Howard Stern show impression? Um, well, Howard, <laughs> I heard you talking about me the other day. It's Liza. And, um, I heard you say that I'm getting like my mother. You have no idea. We I say stick to the Howard Stern impression. Oh. I'm telling you, I like it. I like those better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wow. do Joan Rivers? Let me hear you, Joan Rivers. Howard, you know, uh, I'm coming in to talk to you. I would tell only you this. I'm 124 years old, and I just had my armpits lifted. Okay. That's good. That's good stuff. Man, you are talented, Rachel. Thank you. I love you. Thanks. She so, should be doing The Simpsons. I yeah. would love to. I love to do Family Guy. That's my... Uh, yeah, yeah, you should get an agent or something. <laughs> Thanks. So, Rachel, um, <clears throat> what do you think? Do you, do, do you want to hear some underdog woman, or do you feel you heard enough, Robin, before you want to comment? Do you want me to uh, talk to each person and then have them I do their own thing? I think we do a, 
at each person. All right. So, uh, Rachel. I've heard Rachel. If I may uh, speak with Underdog Woman now. Yes. Uh, you underdog may. Woman, are you are you okay now? I know you had medical problems. I'm not trying to upset you. I just want to know if you're all right. Uh, um. I, I had some medical oddities, as I mentioned to you, my, my rectum was falling out, right. and I was seeing pictures of people in my feces. I apologize for using You went to the hospital, language. underdog lady, yes, didn't you? Yes, I and, had surgery. And when you were there, were the doctors nice to you? Uh, everyone was very nice, but, but I got prank phone calls from miscreants who listened to this program. Wow. All in right. the hospital. In the you. hospital. They found me. They bothered because you. Because of you. Me? What did I do? I didn't do you anything. You have been taunting me for 20 years. I didn't taunt you. You are torturing me. I'm the guy you who's ruined a, my reputation. I'm your biggest fan. You are a polluter of the airwaves, the King Midas of smut. Uh, Is it possible? <laughs> yes. Is it possible that it's because of what you do? Absolutely not. It was only by association through but you Howard walk, Stern. You walk around in an underdog costume. Of course children are going to make fun of you. Of course people are going to make fun no, of you. No, people loved it until I was associated with your show they 20 they, years ago. I can't believe what you said. <laughs> All right, listen, Rachel, that is it's fan- great. fantastic. Thank you. Now let's get to Chad. Chad Diller, John the Stone. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Howard. My uh, uh, hero uh, 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 and God. Uh, uh. Chad, you've been listening to the show for how long? Uh, I've been listening for... F- Talk to me, Chad, for All a right, second. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. All right. How long have right. you been listening? You the, it's so it's the wig. It's throwing me off. Talk so. to me, though. So so how long have you... Oh, you're wearing a wig? Yes, yeah, no, this is totally not my real I hair. I thought you had so. beautiful rock No, hair. and I don't wear glasses. Are I you kidding? See. If I had hair like this, I'd cut you're it You're actually off. dressed as Yes, a, I tried The reason to. I wanted to hear your regular voice is okay. because people should understand that you just don't you sound really like him. Yeah, You're doing a real impression. Yes, sure. When did you realize you could do a John the Stutterer impression? Well, it's really funny because... Because, you know, like most of us, we don't read the directions. And so I looked at the contest. Right. And I put together like a compilation of George Decay calling him with all the whack packers. Right. And uh, then I saw you can only have one impression on the contest. So right. I was like, crap. And uh, so I played it for my wife. And she actually said, you know what? Your best impression is John the Stutter. I said, yeah. really? And other than him doing those couple lines, I never even knew I could impersonate John. What do you well, do for a living? Let me hear what? him do George Decay for a second. Uh, Howard, this is George Decay. Yeah, your best impression uh, is John I, the Stutter. Also. Yeah, <laughs> Chad. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. I can Chad, do that part. Chad, yeah. you're a talented guy. What do you do for a living? Are you in show business? Uh, no, actually, I own a sign business, so I make signs and letter vehicles and do you know, that kind of stuff. I was just reading an article. You talk about signs. They're saying that, I guess in New York State, they're wasting $27 million because some brain surgeon figured out that these street signs that we have are all in caps. They're all in capital letters. <laughs> okay. And someone figured out there'd be less car accidents if they used the first letter capitalized and the other letters small. And they said, well, it's easier to read, therefore you spend less time looking at the sign and no distractions for your, for, you know, for your driving. So they're taking down all of the capital size letters and replacing them with these smaller letters. And Does that make any sense none. at all? And it's going to cost $27 million. We're in a shitty I'll economy. Make, I'll make them for $23 million, So Is yeah. a sign that hard to make? It must be very expensive. Uh, no, it's... Can you make a good living being a sign guy? Um, well, I do it part-time, then I'm also a salesperson for another company, too. So I see. Well, you are tremendously talented. Thanks. And now I'm going to ask you. So, you know, America okay. is going to vote, and we're going to give our uh, opinions of all the different people. Sure. But America will make the final decision today. Who gets the $5,000? Thanks to our good friends at Identity Guard. Your identity is counting on you. That's right. Very important message. Chad. Yes. I mean, John the Stutterer, how are you doing and what's going on? I, You know, you just live at home with your mother all the time and it's got to be depressing. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Howard, a- as you know, I lived in one of the most mm, pr- mm, prestigious <laughs> a- a- areas uh, of Philadelphia, which you are familiar with, called R- R- Rittenhouse Square. Yes, now, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's very depressing. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I mean it's very depressing your life, isn't it? You're still on tons of medication. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So just yeah. a tremendous amount of medication. Yeah, and you were going to hookers. And now the hooker doesn't even want to see you. She didn't like that you talked about uh, ne- it. No, uh, she said I'm a st- 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 <laughs> stuttering mm, retard. Retard, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard because, you know what, you're not a bad-looking guy. You could get women, I think. Yeah, yeah. What is it when they hear the stutter they had for Z Hills? Uh, uh, e- e- Mm-hmm. Ooh, 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 eh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still as political as you were? Uh, a little bit, Howard, but, you know... What mm, about Ralph? I know you don't uh, like him. Ralph? Ralph is an ugly... Berry face, big nose, snaggle tooth asshole. Well, you don't know him that well, and I don't know. Fuck you like... Ralph Howard. Yeah, but what about this um, Rush Limbaugh? Now you hate him too, right? Yeah, he. Are you still angry mm, with Sean Hannity? Uh, Sean Hannity is a mm, seminary dropout <laughs> and, 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 and a conservative. <laughs> Asshole! It is so fun watching you guys do this stuff. Yeah, it really is. I can't wait for people to see this on Howard TV. Well, yeah. oh man, this this guy Chad is uh, is awesome. Remember now, he's not a professional. He uh, makes signs and has a, a a regular job, but for him to come on the Howard Stern show and uh, do this impersonation of John the Stutterer is uh, got to be very nerve wracking and uh, he is doing a great job he, he he's definitely hit a home run there yeah. Dad, excellent performance as John the Stutterer mm, thank you and one more thing Howard may I just say that uh, uh, underdog lady uh, I hope she mm, your cat scratches her uh, 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 and she dies from feline lo- oh, leukemia that's not, yeah. just because you're competing with our underdog lady that's very nasty that's because it? you're an associate of Howard Stern. You're a horrible you're person. You're a right wing. You're a deviant conservative. Miscreant. You're a deviant Bible miscreant. Belt jerk off. You're a bad Bible Belt You have no business jerk talking off. to me like that or you're treating me that way. You're a Bible Belt jerk I'm off. A Bible belt. I hope you, you get cancer like and die. God is going I to punish you. I hope you get cancer <laughs> and die. Your DM diary will fun. come. I hope you get cancer and die. I knew I should have come here. I should never have Fuck come here. Fuck you, underdog lady. I hope you die. All right, all right. You two stop fighting. Like mm, that, yeah, right? yeah, I got more f- for the other I wish I could leave, too. but I need the money yeah. terribly to fix my rectum. All right. Now, listen, you two have to stop fighting because we're going to talk to Mark the Bagger. This is Kevin, everybody. Kevin Ottinger, Mark the Bagger. Kevin, what about you? How long have you been listening to the show? How long have you been a fan? Uh, about five years. Five years. You, uh, you stand there quiet and confident. Are you a little nervous? Yeah, really you nervous. Are. You're nervous. You've never been on the radio before like this, never standing have. here. Uh, so how, you say you listened to the show five years? Yeah. So you got with us when we came over to Sirius. Yep. Were sure you a is. Sirius subscriber already, and then you kind of got turned on to the show? Yeah. I yeah. see. Where do you live? Uh, Boy City, Oklahoma. Ah, Oklahoma Bible boy. Belt. What is that? Bible Belt <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Now, uh, Kevin, so well, you heard about the contest. You haven't been a listener that long, but Mark the Bagger was your favorite. You like yeah. listening to him on the air. Yeah. yeah. How did you know you could do Mark the Bagger? Yeah. Uh, I just uh, made my voice real high one day, and uh, that was it. I mean, not much to it, really. Yeah? Now, it says here you work 70 hours a week driving a truck in the oil fields. Man, that sounds like hard work. An oil field. Yeah, I mean, you're a real working man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you could say that. I bet you sleep good at night. I mean, you must be wasted after a day of work, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. What do you mean you drive a truck in the oil field? Why do you have to drive in the oil field? You pick up the oil from the oil field? Uh, I haul salt water from the oil wells. Who even knew any of this existed? Really? Who knew that was a job? Yeah. I mean, who knew you could get work like that? Yeah. Well, the... uh, the And where does the salt water go? Yeah. Well, the oil wells bring up the salt water whenever they pump up the oil Uh and uh, gas. And we take the salt water to a disposal well. Yeah. And uh, they pump it right back into the ground. No kidding. You're, they really do that. They're not just putting it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> they put it in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, we get in big trouble if we do that. I'll tell you, that sounds like hard work. You probably would actually like to become a bagger. A bagger would be easier. <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah, Stay man. home. You're a hard-working person, I'll tell you that. Uh, so uh, you, you heard the contest on the air. You had, you had tried to do Mark the Bagger before, or was this the first attempt that you made? Yeah, i had done it a few times, and, you know, Left messages on my answering machine as Mark the Bagger, stuff like that. So. Uh, let me talk to Mark the Bagger, if you don't mind, Kevin. Uh, Mark, uh, how are you? I'm doing good, dude. What are you up to? <laughs> you know, Mark, you're such a funny guy. You work as a bagger and stuff, but you I'm not clear on your sexuality. Do you like guys or do you like women? Uh, well, I guess I could talk about it now because I, uh, like Sal, I cut the uh, antenna yeah. to the satellite radio from my mom. Yeah. And uh, hold on just a second, Howard. What so is that? My, you got my, a f- my uh, phone's vibrating. Your vo- who is it? I don't know. I mean, go ahead, take the call. Hello. Yes. Can you, can you hear me? Hello, fuckface. Where are you? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, mom? 
You called your mom fuckface? Uh, no. No? No. I just heard you call your mom fuckface. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> Hold on, Mom. Howard's trying to talk to me. Quit, quit interrupting me with this shit. You still jerking off a lot? Don't tell your mom that, but did you still you still uh, jerking off a lot? Uh, I like to come on my uh, cum chair. You do? You have a cum chair. What is that? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Mom. Yeah. Mom, I told you Howard's trying to fucking talk to me here. <laughs> no, that's mayonnaise on that chair. Don't mess with it. I'll clean it up whenever I get home. Okay, bye. All right. Kevin, good job. Mark the bagger, everybody. Very nice job. Look at you, man. Mr. Showbiz all of a sudden, right from the oil field. <laughs> Our next contestant is uh, Aniel Hernandez. He does Gary the Retard. Aniel, when did you realize you could do Gary the Retard? Uh, I was in my cousin's basement, Howard, and I was uh, making a bunch of recordings to send you of my impressions. This is like four years ago, right? Like two years after you got into Sirius. And I was just started talking, and I was going, can I do Gary? I started going like, oh, hello, hello. And I was like, wow, I, I sound like, like Gary. a very hard impression yeah, it, to it, get it, down. it strains me hard. It, it, strains, it strains me a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you even have the breath down, you know. Like, yeah, the, the, the talking, you know, it, it, it's okay, it's good. You do other. <laughs> and the laugh and everything. <laughs> you, you do the. Uh, <laughs> That's right. You, do, you, you, you say you do other impressions, but what do you do for a living? Yeah, I work for uh, Capital One Bank, currency services in New Jersey. Right, and, and, you, and you, your other impressions, are they as good as this? Yeah, Who yeah. Who else do you do? Uh, well, I do a little bit hypercharic, Howard. That's good. I, do, I got bed bugs on my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, whop, whop, whop. Eric, you don't have a vagina, don't you know but, that? Oh, I got a vagina, Howard. You, that, you do. You know, the craptacular, that was great. Let's see, you've been married for five years, you got a five-month-old son, yep. you work for a bank... Look at you, man. You're a regular guy, and you regular do all these guy, impressions, Howard. Listen huh? to the show all the time, Howard. Got it in my car. Got it in my house. Got it on the radio. Got Howard TV. Let everything, me speak, Howard. Let me speak to uh, Gary the Real oh, Okay. Gary, okay. I want to send you to the moon today for your uh, birthday. Howard, but I, listen, I already went to the moon. I right. was thinking maybe I can go to the sun. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something. If you went to the sun, you would burn up, I think. No, but but Howard, I always have a place to light my cigarettes yeah, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Why do you smoke? Don't you know it's bad for you? Don't uh, you want to live? Uh, I love cigarettes, Howard. It just, it's do my you favorite sm- thing to do. I don't but, care. But you lie every day. Sometimes you tell me you don't smoke, and then sometimes you tell me well, you do smoke. Well, I stopped smoking already, but but I I smoke marble lights. Can you spell your own name? I, I'm trying to determine uh, how retarded uh, you are. Gary, uh, uh, G, uh, G. Well, G is right. Y-G. Yeah, Y G. Well, that's got some of the letters right. Did you? Thanks a lot, Howard. Look at Robin's beautiful boobs. Oh my gosh, she, Robin's beautiful. I, I love Robin. Beautiful She's boobs. The best. Yeah. Do you like Gary over there? Yeah, I like Gary. Hi, hi Gary. On a scale of How's one to going? on a scale of one to ten, what do you give Gary Delabaz? Oh, I give Gary a ten. A ten. He's, he's, he's nice. It's yeah. always a ten, isn't it's it? It's always a ten. How I know any other numbers? It's ten. Do you like underdog lady? Yes, yeah, she's okay. I like her. You she's do nice. like her. I don't yeah. really care if you like me. Oh, or not. shut up, you retard. I'm retarded, you I'm jerk. not retarded. You I went to shit. college. Oh, shut I got up, a very retarded. good education. I shut sold up, my asshole. own costume. Shut up, you and asshole. I'm a performance shut artist. Shut up, you retarded fool. Shut up, you, you asshole. More than you ever hope to be. <laughs> shut Ms. the fuck Grant. up. Did you meet John the Shut Sutterer? the fuck up. Did yeah, you meet John. Yeah, yeah. I met him in the green room. And Gary does it. Uh, deserve oh, the, f- the fuck $5,000. He's shut gonna buy cigarettes with it, Howard. Shut the fuck up. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat the $5,000. Shut the fuck up. Howard. Mark the bagger. Asshole. Mark the bagger. You smarter than Gary the retard? Oh, no way. Ah, uh, yeah. They're not, yeah not, he's, uh, he's, he's retarded. <laughs> he's retarded. He should too. be Mark the retard. Are also. you retarded? Uh, some people say I am, but you're not. No, no, you're not retarded. No, no. Gary, is it tough being retarded? Would you, if I said, if I could snap my fingers and say you could be no, a, a high IQ, would you want it? I, I don't know how because I wouldn't be in hard stitch, don't you know? Right, right. You like I being? A, be it. You want to be Gary the retard? <laughs> yeah, I love being here. <laughs> right, your laugh is infectious. You oh, know that. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> Are you afraid of Fred? Oh, no, I love Fred. You hi, love Fred. <laughs> Fred, Gary. say hi. Good hi, to see you, Gary. Dad, let's go. I can't see you, Fred. Look, she you top your head. That's are, you on time for, <laughs> are you on time for your job all the time? Uh, yeah. Uh, Benji can't even be here, and he's not uh, retarded. Boy, Benji, uh, it's okay. Say hello to him, Benji. Hey, Benji. Hey, Gary. How you doing, Benji? What's hey. going on, buddy? <laughs> hey, uh, Gary, you're not going to believe this. What? In the other room. The flu is in there. He wants us no, to study you. No, Wait a second. Let me, me just introduce I'm him to you. I'm scared of bed bugs. Uh, hey, flu, come on in here. No. Wait a second. Come now, on, don't Howard. be scared. All you've got to say Howard, is no. shoo shoo retarded flu okay, when he comes sh- in. When he he's going to try. He's going to try and trick you. Oh no. Here he comes. No. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Say hello. Shoo shoo retarded flu. Go ahead and say Get something. Gary. No, I'm this isn't Gary. Get you. 
this isn't Gary. This, oh. this is Melissa. Oh, this, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. That, that's this Melissa. No, you sound kind of cute. No, no, I can't talk. That. Leave you? me alone, you jerk. I'm retarded. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, shush. You're so retarded. Like you just killed him. No. Yeah. You killed him. Man, I'm fucking die, you fucking asshole. <laughs> that was a nice, wasn't it, John the Stutterer? Eh, eh, shut <laughs> up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Fuck shut you, up. ass. Fuck you, asshole! Oh, you You're an ugly asshole. You're fucking retard. Ugly asshole. You son of a bitch. Uh, underdog woman. Sandwich. These uh, foul words are gonna send them straight to hell with God, aren't they? I have they? to correct you. You keep calling me underdog woman. It's just underdog. Underdog. I'm sorry. Oh, I apologize. And I want nothing to do with these filthy people. I'm only here for the money. Oh, under shut protest. Up. Under protest. Shut, shut up. up. Where's Mrs. Rogers? Mark the bagger. I hope your mother's not listening to this. Did you tell her to turn off the radio? No, I remember, dude. I cut the wire to her receiver. You did good. All right. Yeah. All right. So listen, let's get to our final contestant. Jason, first let me say hi to you. Can you Hello, talk Howard. Yes. Hi, Jason. Uh, Jason, I think your impression, just like these other four, is terrific. You've Thank been you. listening to the show for how long? Uh, forever. 18 years, I would 18 say. 18-year listener. Mm-hmm. And so did you always know that you were a great impressionist, or did this contest bring it out? It's just something that I like to do in my uh, you know spare time as a hobby with friends, family, goofy stuff on uh, Facebook. And what does he do for a living? What do you do? Uh, I'm self-employed. I do environmental work. No kidding, me too. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's my uh, part-time yeah. job. I'm not yeah. kidding. I actually I, I manufacture DDT. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Well, then you're the kind of guy I want to talk <laughs> to. I like you. You even uh, you do other impressions. You do Marianne from Brooklyn, right? Mm-hmm. How did that go? Hi, Howard. This is Marianne. I'm sorry, but I've been doing Bigfoot all morning, so I don't know how good this impression is. But I love you, Howard. Don't leave. Don't leave. Uh, all Marianne. I need. Marianne. <laughs> is high pitch with you? High pitch, Eric? Hey, Howard, how's it going? Yeah, um, you got any talk cream? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm really hungry, too. Gary Delabate, though, is a tough impression to do, right? Well, you know, it's one of those things, man, that, you know, it's just like you keep on talking. You <laughs> like you have your tongue, it's like too big for your mouth, and you're fighting your teeth and stuff. And you, know, you just talk, you know? It's do something you love, I always do love to love do, the, man. I love Gary. You know, he's great, What's your man. personal life? Hey, and, uh, uh, on a number, on a scale. My personal life, you know, it, it, you know, it really thinks, man, because my professional life is that like a nine, but my personal life is that a two. <laughs> you know, and I wanted to, you know, tell you all but the good things real- that are going on. But, but Jason, your real triumph is this, uh, of course, the great impression you do of Bigfoot. Yeah, well, there it is. I love Bigfoot in it. And I'm here to tell you, Howard, that I want to advertise this new business it is that's going to make me lots of money. Bigfoot, you know you're a guy. You've been bankrupt your whole life. You don't have any money. Yeah, what well, makes you, no, I, I what have, is the business? Just tell me. It's and, business it is? Well, it's a sex lot line it is. It's a what? A what? It's a sex Sex hotline. Sex hotline. Is. That's it is. right. Okay. Yeah. It, you call one eight eight eight. Fuck big butt. Oh, uh, Bigfoot. Wait a second. You got to listen to me because I'm afraid you're going to go into business. You're going to lose what little money you have. When's the last time you got laid? T- talk about that for a second. I got laid 15 minutes ago. Me and Rachel it is. I <laughs> came over big You an underdog. It. That's underdog. Yeah, underdog. Well, did you have sex? Them. Underdog. Did you have sex with Bigfoot? I resent that implication, and I will not answer such a lewd and yeah, filthy question. Yeah, she's all talking. Is. I gave her my big cock nine this is out, and this is an outrage. I bucked her in the pussy. My own bucked her in the ass. Uh, underdog is a proper like woman. She would never do something like that. I know you're just lying. I know you're outright lying. I do. Well, I'm not my, my turn. I got cum all over my head. You want to see this? Hey, John the Stutterer, don't you think he's lying? You uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> and... and, and in the green green room, Howard, yeah, uh, yeah, he had bed bugs it, it, it. crawling off his yeah. dirty, yeah, I got ugly, bed bugs right now with it. German See, I fasted got asshole. Right. Yeah, my well, bed bugs. I brought a bunch up for me from Vermont, and know where Vermont is. There's lots of bed bugs. He's an up ugly there, asshole, All right, yeah. dirty <laughs> asshole. Well, now, Bigfoot. You've been uh, uh, suing the state of Vermont. I don't know. Yep, that's why I got my new business. It is I need a lawyer. I got to pay my lawyer. He got the money to Robin, sue the state. Robin, do you state. understand? Does he? he um, how do I get through to him? You can't. He can't sue Vermont. Vermont's um, not a Vermont person. Vermont is not a person. Oh, right. all the fucked up shit they done to me over Gary, the retard. Can you under, Can you sue fucking, Vermont? I, I don't know what my the fuck lo- is retard talking about. You can't sue a state. Fuck my retard. Lawyer, <laughs> my lawyer. He served the papers. He 
Would you ever? 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 Would you ever consider boxing Vermont? A boxing match? I'm not fucking taking shit on Vermont. Yeah, I'm not fit right in his mouth. Wow. I'll fight you. I'll box you, you asshole. How would it range it? I'll box you. You weigh like 90 pounds. I'll box you, asshole. I'll fuck him right in the head, I will. Yeah. Wow. Are you a good fighter, Bigfoot? <laughs> oh, you look at yeah, him. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fucking take on the whole world. Of these. I'm all <laughs> in deep. They don't fuck what with me. What an event. Bigfoot versus the world. <laughs> That's right. I'll through the fucking world. It is. I'll through Underdog, the fucking planet. Underdog, who is stronger? The planet it who is. is stronger? Underdog or Bigfoot? Who is the strongest superhero of all time? Uh, well, in my estimated calculation, it, it would have to be Underdog because he's a superhero, a, a real thing. This man to my left is just a, a, a filthy yeah, loon. Yeah, I got a big uh, cock a, a piece of scum off the street. Underdog is real and he flies yeah, and mama he, he takes care pussy. of people. I'm I'm unlike you. I'm going to lick your vagina. I'm going to fuck you like a wild mammal. I, 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 I believe this yeah. is a conversation with, yeah, this, with no Mr. Bigfoot. It's best left to speak day. to Little Lupe instead of me. I'll fuck every fucking buddy it is. I'm you want to have fun sex with it. little Lupe? Would you like that? Would yeah, you like... I like Lu Dupe. Lupe. Lupe, say something dirty to him. Hola, bebe, como esta? What? Hi, bebe, how are you? Hi. You like uh, big boobs? Yeah, I like big boobs. I love big cock. You got a big pinna? Yeah, I got a big penis. Mm. Nine and a half pinches in it. Why, you like big penis? I love Anna. <laughs> Right, Mark, you're in the bathroom. She said she likes anal, Bigfoot. Yeah, I'll lick her ass though I will. You want to give it to me, my asshole? Yeah, um, all nine there bitches to come all over down your throat and your face. Oh, yeah, I'll love fuck it. you like a wild mammal, I come will. Over here, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Whoa. All right, wow. Wait, you two are really going at it. Well, listen to me. Listen to me. Wow. What all do we do now? All five of you are fantastic performers. In fact, I think I'm hiring all of you. I could do a show with you guys every day. Well, we got those real people, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, let me tell you something. This is exciting. I'm going to go around and get some of the judges' impressions. Now, we're not the final judges. America. America is judging today. Thank goodness. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm glad they didn't make me a judge on American Idol. You guys are all great. Thank you, Hog. But only one of you can get five grand. Yeah. Holy smokes. What are we doing uh, Ga now? Gary's chomping. Look at those. Oh, he's just his big teeth. Yeah, I thought he was chomping yeah. at the bit. No, you're, um... I tell you, man, uh, they all are great. Right now, uh, I like um, Jason's Bigfoot is so dead on. And, uh, of course, Chad doing Stuttering John is, is also great. And Rachel, I really like Underdog Lady a lot. So I like uh, her and impersonation of underdog lady but uh right now I, i'm leaning towards jason bigfoot i think does the best uh whack pack impersonation what do you guys think uh why don't you comment in the section below tell me who you think uh is doing the best so far you're chomping at the bit to say something oh hold it a second ralph wants to just apologize i think to uh, john the stutterer ralph what is it yeah, the, John's problem is not his uh, looks. It's his horrible personality. Oh, oh fuck you, Ralph. He's just an asshole. Fuck you, Ralph. I shower every day, you asshole. And what rock star has <laughs> I got like rock star that? hair, that Ralph. Shit on oh, fuck you, wrong. Ralph. Fuck you, you're an ugly... Big right. nose, right. berry face, snaggle tooth asshole. <laughs> Ugly asshole. Yeah, well, you Ugly can't, asshole. You can't anything in life. Ugly asshole. Fuck I want to fight you. I'll box you, Ralph. Fuck you. We should bring in people from men's magazines and, and from and we should bring in people from men's magazines to have a beauty contest, Ralph. <laughs> All right, Ralph. You, you're getting him upset. I want to. I'm going to hang up on you. I got to tell you, man. What? The, I don't know how you can pick a winner. The, these people are fantastic. I mean, they are. my favorite is Underdog Lady. John oh, Stutter, fuck you, Ralph. Oh, I, I really appreciate that, Mr. Ralph. Although I, I'm unfamiliar with you. <laughs> you don't know him, right? I, I, I really don't know who I'm talking who is to. Your He's an Ralph? ugly asshole, and he <laughs> hates underdog well, that, lady. That's uncalled for, especially yeah. because he yeah, said yeah, he, yeah. he enjoys say, me. I hate to say it, but I think it's John the Stutter. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, you know what, Ralph? You may, maybe you're not 
Mm, such an ugly asshole after all. <laughs> ugly douchebag with ugly oh, hair. Oh, fuck so you, up. Ralph. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I could listen to this all day. What do you want, Yucko? He says he needs to talk to the contestants. Hey, what? Talk to that stuttering fucking scarecrow looking bastard. Oh, fuck you. Why don't you go put that smelly clown costume on, you fucking prick? <laughs> hey, how's your how's your wife, Yucko? How's your wife, Yucko? <laughs> yeah, you got him. I fucked your wife last night, Yucko. Yeah, you and half Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vote, vote for I, I'd vote for that dude, man. He's got my fucking vote. Well, well all right. there you go, there you Yucko. Go, right. You can vote. Swallow that clown America. nose and die, asshole. <laughs> Did you really fuck Yucko's wife? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, mm, mm, beautiful mm, vagina and asshole. All right. Now, uh, listen. Now it's time to give your comments, Robin, okay. Gary, and Fred, and myself. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what you thought of the contestants. Just want your general impressions, and then I'm going to open up the phone lines for America to vote. All right. Uh, what is a fafa fooey? I can't decide. You can't. I really can't. I'm fucking judge you. Uh, well, okay. A shitty one. So you he, want me to start? He's the Paul He's a Abdul of the group. Judge. I can decide. You ready? All right. I think they're all phenomenal. In fact, Rachel does a bunch of great voices, but I, when I close... But we're only evaluating right. underdog. Right. right. When I close my eyes, yeah. right, or I, what I try to do is like, can I tell the difference? And as good as all of them are, for me, it's a tie between two. It's uh, uh, John the Stutterer and Bigfoot. Uh, when I close my eyes, thank, I'm hearing those you. people. Bigfoot, what do you think of that? My thing is good. It don't mean I'm going to win four dollars it is. That's right. Four dollars. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll take it and give you the four dollars, asshole. Um, that's good it is. Like like John when he hits the, when he hits a high word he squeaks in the middle you know he's like fuck you and then with Bigfoot he you know when he says fuck I boked you you know he doesn't say the f word but right, I think so you you those are your two favorites yeah but I, do I have to pick one well no you're just giving you're us just your general us impression your opinion, yeah, but they're yeah. all great you had to pick one who would you pick because because even Gary's really good too the Gary's yeah, good thanks, and and so is underdog Gary <laughs> if I had to pick thanks one lot. I, I think Gary's giving you a ten on your impression oh yeah thanks a lot Gary your impression's good too Mark the bag is very good he just got a little nervous I think yeah a little nervous a little nervous yeah Gary I'll suck your cock in the green room oh there you go <laughs> there you go there you go now listen if I had to pick one I'd probably go with John the Stutterer, but it's uh, so close. It's very close. All right. Uh, now, remind th you, these are just suggestions. Baba Booey. That's all fucking sheep it is. You'd do anything for that prize, Mr. wouldn't you? Mr. Gary, you were my favorite up until a few moments ago. But you're great, too. But I I, I, I need I need the money for my surgery for my medical bills. See, that's great, too. <laughs> An important reason. Uh, Robin, what are you uh, thinking on in this right. outrageous contest? Everybody with these... was really, really great. And these people have gone through a lot. And, yeah, and they've really worked hard on their impressions. I even have to give yeah. Chad a shout-out because he actually got into costume. He yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, the yeah. This, this wig is as, as hot as mm, Robin's cunt. Wow. <laughs> and so, I, you know, you have to nitpick at a per certain point, you know, like really right. start to try to pick Who things Who would you apart. pick as your favorite here? Well, I just think that Rachel totally captures Susan Muldown. Thank you, Robin. I, I knew we had a female alliance going on the moment I laid eyes on you. <laughs> no, it's oh, wow. she just, it's like she's channeling Susan. Susan. She just has everything about her, all the nuances of her speech. But listen to Gary the, the retard way. chuckle. Go ahead. I, I, I did, Robin. <laughs> well, you know what? The great, thing, cheese. the great thing about him is the the impression is perfect. Right. Too perfect. And unfortunately, Gary doesn't provide you with a lot of material. <laughs> yeah. So it's a limited oh, sorry about that, Robin. <laughs> kind of impression. I'm Bigfoot, so, are you insulted by what Robin's saying? Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm theory. It is. I'm, I'm thinking about all my money I'm going to win so I can do the state it is and so I can, you know, pay a doctor it is to help me fix the bed bugs and all the right. gastritis it is. Well, you're an amazing well, man. Well, he does a great impression, too. He does, he does. It just... I don't know. It wasn't as good to me. Yeah, I'll fuck you, Robin. <laughs> so you're recommending that uh, you yeah, people okay. vote for Underdog. Gary's recommending people vote for John the Starter. Fred, who do you vote? That Who do you think okay. that they vote? 
Uh, I agree with everyone so far. Everyone has done a phenomenal job, and there should be a three-way tie for number one. However, you can't have that. Number You're two, an impressionist. Number two, John the Stutterer. You uh, rushed a little, dude. That's what I was saying. He talked oh. a little. You fast. rushed a little. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You got Big a nitpick. Yep. Great impression. The material wasn't there. Well, they didn't let me but, do my however, material. It is. If they I was didn't. judging strictly on the on the impressions, it's like it should be a three-way tie. But yep. every time Underdog Woman spoke, she pulled the focus right to her. Yeah. Thank every you. time. Thank you, the Mr. The essence Trump. of the character. She's nailed it. I don't know how America's going to vote. I'm going to tell you something. Hey, Ronnie, the limo driver, I never asked you. How do you think How do you think America should vote? I think I'll give you a chance to be a judge. Something legitimate for a change. So the strip club nonsense. What do you think? Who do you think America should vote for? Uh, it's really hard. You're not kidding. These they're, are all they're, they're all people. great. Yeah. They really are great. Um, I, I I would go with John the Stutter. John the Stutter, right? Yeah. Uh, mm, th- thanks, R- R- Ronnie. Yeah. I got I got a little guy like that in my pocket. <laughs> like Ronnie? Yeah, whatever his name is. Yeah. Carry the recharge. Did um, Ronnie frisk you before you came in here? Uh, no, Howard. Someone else frisked me. I was hoping. For, I hope I would see Andrea, Miss Howard Stern. I love her. You Bob. love Miss Andrea. Oh, Andrew, she's Ms. great. Stern. She's great. Mark the beggar. You like Ronnie on the show, or do you think he's kind of silly? Yeah, I want him to give me a lap dance, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, give him a lap dance. <laughs> well, this is tough. Benji, who did you like the best? Um, I thought, I thought I was gonna vote for Rachel, uh, before the contest, just hearing all her stuff, and theatrically. I think Rachel's the best, but the character he picked, it works comedically best. Uh, Chad is John the Stutterer. Yeah, yeah. Mm, thanks. Mm, mm, oh, mm, <laughs> ba- ba- Benji. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, for me, uh, it was a toss-up between four people, maybe possibly five. Uh-huh. I don't know who to tell you is the best. I think all of hey, you Hey, are... don't cop out. Yeah. You yeah. got to make a choice. John the Stutterer. All yeah. right, that would be my my recommendation. Although Rachel, please, and Bigfoot, and, and Bigfoot's come on, Kevin, great. A- no, Bigfoot I mean, is great. Gary, I should have expected as much from a, from from a deviant like you. <laughs> well, please don't hold it against me. Five thousand dollars buys a lot of cigarettes. I, would... I know. I want to see you get it too. <laughs> not a there better be. That's the problem. Now Gary's getting too smart. Uh, I've, I've warned you, <laughs> warned you many times in the past that there would be a price to pay All when right. you least expect it. Then I'm going to know why I'm going to get home. Not job. Uh, 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 now I feel bad. Okay, I'll vote for you then. I don't know. I can't, oh my it's, God, it's, like it broke down. Oh no my no God, and, 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 and hero. Uh-huh. Yeah. All Thank right. goodness it's up to the audience. Thank God. Her. Now, how are you guys going to vote? Right now, I'm opening up the phone lines. One Wait. last appeal, Bigfoot. Go ahead, make an appeal, Jason. Call me up at bigfootandasshole.com it is and vote for me. Uh, yeah. uh, Annie, I'll make an appeal as Gary the Retard. Vote for Gary the Retard. Catch me at the kids of comedy. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark the bagger. Go ahead. Make an appeal. Uh, vote for me, dude. I'll, I'll bag your groceries for you. I'm the best guy ever. And uh, John the Stutter, make an appeal. Don't vote for underdog lady. Her hair looks like a wig made out of a Mm, pubic hair, and, and, and I got rock star hair. And uh, underdog, to talk to the people. It could go any way. Please, please keep in mind that my feces are in danger, and I need the cash for my medical bills. There they are. Your <laughs> those are the contestants. Your contestants is a five thousand dollar prize at stake. Wow, they are all very, very good. The interaction between Rachel who's doing Underdog Lady and Chad doing Stuttering John is so good. I got to give it to them, too, where uh, the comedy that they wrote for themselves, uh, I'm sure they're not comedy writers, but the lines that they have and the the comebacks that they have are really good. I'm going to go ahead and tell you who I think uh, should win this contest, but uh, first I'm going to tell you in order from least to best who I think. uh, My list would be uh, the guy's name's Kevin as uh, Mark the Bagger. And then, uh, what's the other guy's name? Annie L. doing uh, Gary the Retard would be my fourth pick. And I would say that Chad as Stuttering John and Rachel as Underdog Lady would be tied for third and second. And my favorite guy is Jason as Bigfoot. I mean, he is just so dead on. And I believe his material's a little bit stronger. His comedy material is a little bit stronger than the other than the other two. Even though uh, Chad 
had some great lines. Uh, he really got all the funny things that uh, Stutter and John says to uh, Ralph and and to uh, all the other people he fights with on the show. Uh, like I said, this is this is a contest where uh, the listeners get to call in and vote. So why don't you go ahead and comment uh, below who you thought should have won. This was actually a two-part show where they played the staff impression contest and then they came back the next day with a separate video to play the results. But I went ahead and uh, edited them together so we get uh, both the contest and then the results part of the show all in one video. So let's check out the results. All right, I'm really excited. It's time for America to vote and to learn about their candidates. We have the staff impression contest. Let me first say hello to uh, Rachel Underdog Lady. Hello, airwave polluter. <laughs> we meet again, it seems. Chad Diller, John the Stuff. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Howard. My uh, uh, hero uh, 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 and God. This is Kevin, everybody. Kevin Ottinger, Mark the Bagger. Hello? Yes? Can you, can you hear me? Hello, fuckface, where are you? Oh, hey, what's up, Mom? Our next contestant is uh, Annie L. Hernandez, who does Gary the Retard. Hey, uh, Gary, you're not going to believe this. What? In the other room, the flu is in there. He wants to no, see no, you. Wait get a second. Let me just introduce I'm you to him. I'm going to get Here he comes. No, yeah. no. Go ahead, say hello. Shoo, please. shoo, turn it blue. Go ahead and say get something. Gary, no, I'm this coming isn't Gary. to get you. Jason, your real triumph is this, uh, of course, the great impression you do of Bigfoot. Yeah, I did it. I love Bigfoot. And it. Well, Robin, the voting has uh, been tabulated. I am so glad we didn't have to pick. Gary is close to bringing in the envelope. All right. Gary is handing me the envelope, Robin. This is it. The results are in. And you're holding them in your hot little hand. That is correct. America has spoken. But, pff, how okay. dare you? <laughs> America has voted. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> you guys nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I'm it is. got to take a seat. All right. America has voted. Just died to smoke a cigarette. How it you? Thank you, Gary. I stutter when I get n n nervous. Rachel, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I, I'll tell you, it's probably not me because I'm not associated with your show and I, I, I'm not a filthy pervert, so knowing your audience, uh, uh, probably someone else will be, be voted you know, for. You know, uh, a lot of the judges went for either Chad or Rachel. That's true. But it doesn't matter. America makes the decision. Will America get it right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I like that. Who says that? Uh, that's always the question that Ryan Seacrest would ask Simon. Yeah, he is a fucking nut. <laughs> Robin, do you think America will get it right? <laughs> How should I know, Connie? <laughs> All right, here we go. Rachel, Chad, Kevin, Annie L., Jason, maybe my most talented listeners, the five of you combined. In fact, I... One day I want to get you all to do an hour radio show where you're in character. People can take calls and your heads will explode from doing these impressions. They all look like they're going to drop dead from doing these impressions. And of course, we don't even provide a stool for no, our contestants. No, no, they've been standing here for yeah. hours. God forbid we provide a chair for people. I apologize. I'm accustomed to it. Yes, you're never treated right. All right. America has voted. The person who is leaving the competition next... Is. The first person to leave the competition. No. <laughs> Don't criticize me. I'm on a roll. All right. The person leaving the competition first and not winning the $5,000. Person in this room now who is leaving. Is anyone going to pee? <laughs> Does anyone remember laughter? <laughs> Not to which that hurt. The person leaving the competition after America has voted 
Jason, are you nervous? Do I win it? Is? <laughs> it's Kevin Ottinger, Mark the Bagger. Congratulations, oh. Mark, though. You did a great job. And I might have good news for you at the end of this. But, uh, Kevin, uh, I'm sorry, Mark the Bagger did not win the $5,000. Thanks, Howard. It's nice being here. And uh, I love having you here. And I might still have good news for you, actually. Someone has stepped in and saved the day. So just hang in there. All right. All right. That's interesting. Mark the Bagger did not. He got the least amount of votes. But you say that something good could happen. Something good could happen. Although, the good is actually we're going to get him a chair so he can sit down. <laughs> Loser gets That's the sit. Right. All right, here we go. The next person eliminated and going home. America has voted. I love saying that. <laughs> Who do you think is going next, Rob? Jeez. Did it surprise you? Did America get it right? Yes, no. America. I think America got it right. That's what Fred, do you think saying. America got it right? They didn't get it right when Bush till, stole the election from Gore, so. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, All right. they got it right. Here we go. So who do I think will be the next to go? Who do you think's going next? Bigfoot, Gary the Retard, John the Stutterer, Underdog Lady. Who do you think? I think it will be Aniel, Gary the Retard. Gary the Retard. No. All right, let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> America has voted. The person going home next. Chad, you did um, uh, John the Stutterer, but... Yep. You even wore a wig. Yeah. Right. The person going home next is... Rachel, you uh, you didn't wear a costume, did you? Uh, no, I was going to wear a cape, but I decided not. All right. The person going home next and doesn't win the $5,000. Good Lord. <laughs> Jason Bigfoot, you are going home next, but congratulations on a great event. I'm not event. going anywhere. Yeah, yeah Jason. I'm right here. I came down and win $5,000. I didn't expect $5,000. Uh, Robin, did wow, America get I'm that shocked. right? Did, did America get that right? Well, it was a toss up. You know, we were talking about. Fuck some America. Very I want my money <laughs> in here. This is both there. I came all the way down from Monday up by Canada. I got broken down and met stupid days, and I walked with the way. Where the fucking money is. Did America get it right, Rob? No, America they, did not just get it right. Uh, Fred, did America get it right? They didn't get it right. They didn't. All right. Well, all I can say is, uh, Jason, job well done. Thanks, um, dude. All right. Appreciate thank it. you. But I might have good news. Hang around. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And now it's three people are left. We have Gary the Retard, John the Stutterer. Hi, hi, Gary. Hi, Howard. How, how, how are you holding up, John the Stutterer? Uh, uh, I am. Where's Scott, that mm, Republican asshole? I want to box him. Now, where is Scott DePace? Yeah. He's avoiding you, yeah. isn't he? You know, he likes, he likes George Bush. Yeah, he's an asshole. All right. <laughs> and uh, we have Gary the Retard, John the Stutterer, underdog lady left. Underdog, uh, you nervous? I, I'm getting a bit sweaty in the feet. Howard. All right, in your feet. <laughs> my, my feet seem to be s slipping out of my shoes. All right. America has voted. One of you, unfortunately, now has to leave the competition. So far, Robin says, Underdog was good. Great. But I believe... You even thought she'd win, don't you? I think she should win. That's my personal opinion. Chad, one of our judges, Fred, said you'd win. Uh, mm, mm, I was glad mm, Fred mm, Fred didn't make f f fun of me today. Uh, Fred right. rocks. Right. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think Fred picked Chad. No. And he I, 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 I,
Underdog. Yeah, right. Now, uh, Gary, the retard, nobody picked you, but let's see if America, America did. Let's so see how this hope for making a vote for me, Gary, the retard. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's find out who America voted for. The polls are closed. America has decided. The person going home next and will not make it into the final two is... should be in the final two. I left, Robin. I'm not here oh. anymore. <laughs> who are you talking to? I thought you were still there. Robin, who do you, who do you think, think? Who do you think should be in the final well, two? Well, I'm looking at the results, so I can't say. But uh, I want your personal opinion. I cannot say. Now you can't I'm Ryan say. Seacrest right now. Uh, who do you think should be in the final two? Well, I think it should be uh, Chad and Rachel. You're saying uh, John the Stutterer and uh, Underdog. Once yeah. again, Robin, thank you for, for your support and encouragement. Right, let's find out. America has voted. Let's yes. find out if Robin's right. The next person to leave the competition. Annie, a lot of people have said you're not going to be in it. It'll be shocking if you are. Yeah, I'll be shocked. Hard. Really, really shocked. Chad thinks, lot, he's got, Chad thinks he's got oh, a lot. Oh, I got it. Rat, rat, oh, rat up. up. I got rock star here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary, even if you lose, we're going to tell you you won. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks, Howie. All right, here we go. The person going home next is... Gary the Retard, Aniel oh, Hernandez. Okay. It's all down to Aniel. Great job. Thank you, Howard. Appreciate uh, it, man. It's Chad and Rachel, the final wow. two. Wow. How are you guys holding up? Me? Yeah. I'm good. $5,000. <laughs> you really are sweating, though. It's you hot. could buy a brand new home with this prize. Oh, yeah. This could change your life. <laughs> and a, a, lot, a lot of hookers. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, probably one. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Here it is between uh, Underdog and our good friend John the Stutterer. Fred? I, ha I have no faith in your listeners, just, just to read. Fred, who's going to take this one? Who do you think? My vote still goes to Rachel. Who's going to take this one, Robin? Have you changed your mind? It should be a very close vote. Yes. But I think that Rachel should pull ahead by a nose. I see. Benji, who do you think is going to win? Uh, John the Stutterer, because he has the voice that could fight in this contest. I'm never going to you again as a judge. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> All right. And now, America has voted. Rachel, you're going to piss your pants. I just oh. can't even believe this. It's so crazy. <laughs> America has voted. Rachel, who do you think is going to win? Um, I think John the Stutterer is going to win. Mm. Why do you say that? He's really, really good. I'm good, but he's really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, fuck Fred. I'm going to wig Fred, you asshole. Uh, 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 America is an ass. You're an oh, ass. No, you're, you're an, an asshole. 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 You, you ass got this ugly ass. Dirty Chad, Chad, who do you think? Sack. Chad, who do you think is going to win? I don't know. Rachel's really good, too. So. Yeah, it yeah, could go to either fucking one. fucking liar. Yeah, I, I, I hope All it's right. me, but she's great. America has voted. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Robin when I say it. She loves it. You're getting excited when I say it. You like when I say it. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting with bated breath. For the results. I thought there was something wrong with your breath. I didn't realize it was baited. <laughs> By the way, Mark the Bagger, you're still out. I hate to tell you. Oh. Thanks for bringing it up again, Howard. All right, I'm sorry. America has voted. Not Russia, not Germany. There are no Canadian votes? There are no Canadian votes. America has voted. I know if I wait one more minute, Rachel will pee her pants. <laughs> She's, she's shifting back and forth, you should see. I'm in heels. I don't wear heels ever. I love it. <laughs> and I like you in heels. <laughs> By the way, Chad is in heels, too. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's between Chad Diller, Rachel, Rachel Butera, and America Has Voted. The person who won received 50%, oh, more than 50% over the second place person. What? It was a landslide. Really? It was clear when America voted. 
Wow, that's amazing to me. I thought it would be close. It was clear, Robin. <laughs> I don't recall on uh, America's Got Talent anybody <laughs> chimes in. <laughs> All right, I don't watch go. the show. That's true. You're smart. <laughs> America has voted. The person going home and therefore not winning $5,000 thanks to our good friends at Identity Guard. Yes. Chad, are you nervous? Yes, very. Rachel, you nervous? Yeah, I'm getting nervous now. $5,000. The person going home. <laughs> Chad Diller, Rachel Butera, underdog lady, is the winner. Oh, my God. You're oh kidding. God. That's right. Whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. I do not believe this. Hey, this is just like American Idol. Oh Chad, how do you feel for a second? I was just Chad, I didn't know. I thought maybe you had it in the bag. But, 50%? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, over 50% of the people uh, went for, 59.8% uh, went for Rachel Butera wow. as underdog. Rachel, how are you feeling right I, now? I am just blown away. The power of the show amazes me. Since you played my impression the first time, hundreds and hundreds of people have, hundreds. have Facebook friended me and emailed oh. me. And Marion from Brooklyn called me on the goddamn phone. No kidding. <laughs> A real star call. You are amazing. Like, ah, the, that's I, great. I, I, it's the power of the show. You guys are Isn't that great? Fans. Rachel, uh, congratulations. I'm going to introduce you to the real her hero here, the guy who made this all possible, Thank our you. dear friend at Steve Schwartz at Identity Guard. Steve, how's business over there at Identity Guard? Do people really understand that their identity can be stolen? We, they don't, but you're helping us uh, help people understand. Let me tell you something. I am so glad that you, Identity Guard, Steve Schwartz, that you're here. Because you provided the $5,000 and we got these incredibly talented people to come forward out of my audience. Why, they crawled out of the walls like bed bugs. And they <laughs> gave us great impressions. Steve, go ahead, make the presentation. Rachel, you were actually, everybody was great. I, I don't know how America chose. Uh, it was tough. They did a great job. Rachel, you were fabulous. Fabulous. $5,000. Thank you. My identity guard, don't let someone else be you. That's right, Rachel. Don't let anyone else be you. What are you going to do with the 5000 Rachel? Will you uh, buy a brand new home? Will you retire <laughs> from your job? I'm, what will you do? I'm probably going to invest most of it into my voiceover training. And I'm going to give $500 to Suzanne. Oh, no kidding. Nice. You're sending over 500 to Suzanne. Yeah, the underdog lady deserves Oh, underdog lady's going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm glad you won. Thank you. You're Thank also you. talented. Hey, by the way, I do have a, a word from Steven Singer. I don't know if he's still on the phone. I don't see him there. But Steven Singer called up during the, the impression contest, and he said to me, all of them were so fantastic that our good friend from Philadelphia, Steven Singer Jr., said to each of you guys, as runner-ups, he'd love to give you each 500 bucks and a little certificate from Steven Singer. What do you think of that? Does that sound good, guys? Do I get my $5,000 in it? Right. You get 500 of it. Oh, man. $500,000 in it. I'll get it today, Steven. I'll see you this afternoon. Uh, Gary, did you give me a plug for Steven Singer? Or is he on the phone? I just wanted to thank him for doing that, but I guess he's not. Uh, but yeah, Steven did call up. He was so impressed. He said, I'd love to give something to the runners up. So I'm glad. So each of you get 500 bucks. And I think you're going to get a little certificate to do something with Steven Singer. Steven's got a whole website and all that kind of stuff. I hate Steven I hate Steven, I hate Steven Singer. Where's Stevie the up in Vermont? No, no, no. He's in Philly. He's Steven Singer. Philly, Vermont. Philly represent. Right, yeah, yeah. right, right. Robin, did America get this right? America got it exactly right. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's hear from some of the fans. Let's say hi to Jeff the Drunk Jeffrey. What do you want to say? I want to congratulate all of them. They were all good, weren't they? Yeah, good job. Good job to oh, all shut Joe. Shut up, bitch. Uh, yeah, Joe, go ahead. Hey, you, do a pretty, you do a pretty good uh, Jeff the Drunk, don't good. you? I came here from Albany, New York, Howard. Uh, Joe, what do you want to say? <laughs> hi, Howard. This is Kelly Hawk. <laughs> yes, Joe. I think that John the Stutter should have won today. Howard. Well, it was very close. You were all so super talented, and I and I, I want to thank the great Rachel Butera, Chad Diller, Kevin Ottinger came all the way from God knows where. Kevin, where are you from again? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Wow. That sounds like some other country. How'd you get here? Yeah. Bell jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Annie L. Thank you, Annie L. Hernandez and uh, so Jason Tussauds. Is it Tussauds? Tussauro. To, to sorrow. To sorrow. To sorrow. To you, sorrow. you say you're half Italian, right? I'm full Italian. Right, okay. Jason Impressions on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah. You gotta, you're you you're into it, huh, man? Jason Impressions on Facebook. I don't right. know. Gotta do something. All right. They're very good. And thanks again to our great contestants. Rachel, congratulations. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I feel really, really excited. I am so thankful to Howard and all his listeners. I know that everybody was pulling for me, so thank you so much. What did you think of the other guys? Oh, they were so awesome. I can't actually believe that I won and beat John the Stutter. He was so great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, man. Guys, what did everyone else think of the contest today? I think everybody is incredible. Oh, yeah. Everybody was so committed to the character. Everybody's yeah. fantastic. And just, yeah, you know, awesome. blows me away. Amazing how impressions. Everybody Amazing yeah. impressions. Yeah. Now, did oh, anyone have trouble doing it? Like, that must be hard trying to keep up that yeah. that character for so long. Yeah. Does it do a strain on your voice? It does or? a strain on my voice. Yeah. Yeah. I got a strain yeah, on my voice. Yeah, yeah, throw it in there yeah. for a while. Yeah. I'm going to think I'm going to I'm starting to get a headache from these reading glasses, which I shouldn't be wearing. And also screaming. Right. I was glad they've chose Underdog Lady. Is that the one you. Yeah, because Little Lupe would have been so hard to sustain the whole time with the yeah. accent and the high pitch, so yeah. I was so yeah. glad they picked Underdog Lady. Yeah, that's awesome. Said you have really nice eyes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that as Bigfoot, though, please? No. Nope. Beautiful eyes. <laughs> now, Rachel, you oh, said Rachel. that you're giving uh, under, Underdog Lady 500. Yeah, I How it's, come? it's the least I could do. You know, the poor woman gets made fun of and taunted all her life, and um, I imitated her, so she does have medical bills probably mounting. So oh, that's I, awesome. I, I thought it would be nice that to just, nice. you know. And cool. she did Booth Big for Four. Hell no. Yep, where's that big, where's that big check? What they do with that big check in it? I'll take that to the bank. You can eat that check. It. I'll sit on it and sign it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so much. Well, there it is, everybody. Uh, that was a great episode. Uh, my favorite part was when all five of them were interacting with each other and, and doing their impersonations all at the same time. That was great. Um, but, uh, I have to agree with what, um, Fred said about Chad. He was, uh, speeding it up there. If you, if you go back and listen to the episode, uh, in the beginning, Chad was going real slow and impersonating John the Stutterer with more sounds and instead of talking. But as, as the show went on, he started getting faster and faster with his answers. And, um, that's not how John the Stutterer is. He takes a long time to answer questions. Um, and like I said, uh, I think now that, now that the show is over, I can see how, uh, the top three that I thought were, um, were Rachel, uh, as underdog lady and Chad as, uh, John the stutterer and Jason as Bigfoot. Uh, Annie L was awesome too, as, uh, Gary, the retard and, 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 and the guy Kevin did Mark the Bagger excellent, but he was just up against some heavy-duty competition. And um, like I said, my order would have been uh, Mark the Bagger, uh, Kevin as Mark the Bagger, and um, NEL as uh, Gary the Retard. Uh, and then I would have tied uh, Chad and as uh, Stuttering John and Rachel as Underdog Lady, and I would have gave it to Jason as Bigfoot. I mean, the guy... Hey, even his his uh, comedy material was was far above the other ones. Even though Chad Chad had some great one liners, but um, I just I thought Jason was the best. And um, there's actually some episodes uh, where Rachel and Jason, who is it goes by Jay now, Jay uh, uh, come back and and do some. Uh, I think they do a uh, uh, impersonation contest where it's they can do whoever. They don't have to do uh, staff or whack packers. And I'll try to find that video and post it. But, well, I hope everybody is enjoying my channel. And if you are, please come on back and hit the subscribe button because I've got some great videos lined up that I'll be posting real soon. So until then, everybody, take it easy.